Hello, my most amazing artists. We are finally going to finish this project today. We have spent the last two weeks learning how to blend the colors, practicing, and then doing our background paper. Today, we're actually gonna add in the dolphin and the splash where he's coming out, and then the reflection on the water from the sun. We aren't gonna use paint for the reflection. We're gonna use some oil pastel. Nope, we're gonna use chalk pastel instead because it blends real nicely. And you can see that even Mrs. Garner was a little bit too heavy with this uh, reflection that she did. So we're going to do chalk instead. All right, so when we do our dolphins, we've already practiced our dolphins. You have an idea how to do them, the shapes to use. Your dolphin should be in front of your sunset. He's not in the water still. He's in front of the sunset. That gives a really nice contrast. So you're gonna take your brush. Sorry, I got a little bit too much paint. Remember the dolphin's body is the shape of a banana. So I'm going to make my dolphin's body nice and curved so it looks like he's actually coming out and doing that jump. I always have to stop and think. All right, here we go. Nice and curved. So here's his body. Shaped like a banana. And then his tail, I'm gonna do his tail real fast. His tail, somebody said to me the other day, it looks like his tail's a mustache. And if you look, it does. So if painting a mustache helps you, there you go, because it helped me. It was one of my fourth graders who said that. I'm gonna paint in the body. Now I haven't done his bottle nose yet, because this is a bottle nose dolphin. Then he's got a fin on the back of him. Be real careful when you're doing this. See how I'm outlining first and then filling in? All right, then he's got flippers in the front. And one of them should be a little bit smaller because it's on the other side. So outline and then fill in. And then I forgot his bottle nose, so we're gonna add in his bottle nose. That's probably good. All right, so there's my dolphin jumping. Now I'm gonna get a paper towel here and I'm just gonna wipe off my brush. I don't need water to dry it off, but if I squeeze my brush tip and then put it in paper towel, I can get most of the paint off, that's good. We're going to add the splash. The splash is gonna be a mixture of blue and white, more blue than white, to make it look like he's jumping out of the water. Okay, so I'm gonna take blue, I'm gonna take a little bit over here, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of white and lighten it up a little bit. And then with the end of this brush, these are fine tip little flat brushes. They work really well for dabbing the splash. So you have to think about the way the water's gonna go. If you've ever looked at somebody jumping into the water, you know what a splash looks like. So it kind of goes up, like this is where he's coming out of the water. It's more centralized. There's more splashies and as it goes up, it's going to get less. Put in a little bit more white. So there's the splash. And then we have the blending for the reflection on the water. When you do it, be real careful not to blend your splash accidentally. So the colors that are gonna reflect off of the water are the same colors that we have up in the sky. In our oil pastel, or sorry, not oil pastel, chalk pastel box, we have pinks, yellows, oranges. That's probably what you're gonna use. So when you do it, it's a very, very light. We're not going and making a big old line. It is a very light reflection. Think about when things reflect. Yellow is gonna reflect closer, then orange, then pink, because those reflections, it's not gonna be yellow, pink, and orange right here. It's, it's like a mirror reflection. Yellow here, orange here, pink here. So I'm gonna put in some really light little lines. Remember, you can always draw them darker, but you can't erase 
and this will kind of show the movement of the water as well. Just real lightly. You barely have to touch these to the paper to get them to make a mark. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to lightly smudge. Lightly smudge. Not my whole hand. Little kids like to take their whole hand. I know you're top dogs. I know you're not going to do that. But lightly smudge it. And there is the reflection in the water. So this is our game plan today. When you're done, we're going to put away the chalks, put the lids back on the black, black paint. Uh, brushes go to the sink. You guys are the last ones to use them today. So please put them away so we can get them all clean. I hope you enjoy doing this. I think you're going to do a great job. Let's get started.